Every Wednesday, two of us will tell you the truth. One of us will lie to you. It is two truths and one lie on Mix 94.1. We have predetermined here with our little pieces of paper who is doing what today. We have 30 seconds to tell you a story. Whether or not it is true or false, that is up for uh, up to you to decide. Now, um, it could be just a weird fact. It could be, you know... Uh, I don't know. We we come up with some weird stuff. We've been doing this since, <laughs> yeah. what, over Last a year, year now, right? Yeah. yeah. So we, we, I'm running out of stuff. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, we are going to give it a shot this morning. See if you can tell us who is telling you the lie. Now, does anyone want to volunteer to go first? You guys all know what you're doing? Uh, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, and I may have talked. I'm going to go. It's, it's, the clock starts in three, two. I may have mentioned this on the show before, but I have a pair of socks that I bought in 1992 when I started working at the inn at Lambertville Station, and I still have those socks to this day. They're gray dress socks, and I've worn them at every single job I've worked at. Worn them here, Mix 94.1 the first go around, when I went to Washington, D.C., when I came back to Mix 94.1, when I started working at Channel 8, and I wore them as most recently as New Year's Eve. I put the socks on again just for old time's sake. So I've uh, had a pair of socks since 1992 and still rock them from time to time. Hmm. I That's feel like a- they would be disintegrated by now. And they would have a lot of holes. 30, 30 <laughs> years old. How can a pair of socks last? For oh, no, there's, some, there's a couple holes in them. Yeah, they're, they're, not, daily, they're not daily wears. They're not daily oh. They're special occasion wears. Oh, so what's so special about the socks? Like the description of it? What? How do they look like? They're gray. Yeah, there's line, like black lines in them. And there's like, these green little swirls in them as well. And what's so special is that it's just, I, I realized it's probably when I started working here at the radio station in 1997 that I still had those socks. And I wore them once. And then I moved to D.C. They were still kind of in that sock pile. And I just made it a thing to wear them on special occasions to keep that pair of socks alive. They were the the first job I ever had, like real paid job was at that inn. They were my first dress socks. And it's just kind of like a thing that I have. So every job I have, I make sure I wear them at least once with that job. (laughs) I I just feel like they would be shredded into nothingness. There's some holes. There's some holes, Mercedes. That is a long time. New New Year's Eve, I put them on and I put a sock on over those socks. Just so so they can stay together? Yeah, just so they can stay together. Interesting. (laughs) Is JC telling the truth or is he lying to us about his 30-year-old socks? (laughs) I mean, that is older than both of my children combined. What are you? I'm just one year older than that. <laughs> that is crazy. Steph, you're just one year older than my socks? I'm just one year older than your socks. Well, if my, you're telling the truth. I bought them at James Way. They, they're quality socks. All right. Yeah. Is JC telling the truth or is he lying? You decide. Uh, Steph, why don't you go next? All right, ready? In three, two... I was in the back of my, or actually I was in the front of my brother's house when I was around nine years old. And my nephew, he was about a little less than a year. And I loved my nephew. I would always carry him around. And we were in the front of my brother's house and we, he had a truck and on the back of the truck, you know, you can like plop it down you can sit on it. So I thought it'd be cute for my nephew to put him down on the truck. And eventually he fell down on to the driveway (laughs) so i dropped my nephew when i was nine nine years old and he was a little less than a year oh my gosh uh steps are always injury related yeah someone's getting hurt (laughs) how what happened after that quickly we went to the emergency room oh no yeah was he okay luckily everything was fine he he turned out everything was babies are resilient (laughs) (laughs) but i remember just another add-in is that my uh, other brother saw the whole thing happen my nephew was crying, I was crying, and we all were just a big crying mess to make, just making sure that he was okay. But everything turned out great. What kind of truck was it? Gosh, it must have been my mom's old Nissan truck. It was red. Yeah. It was one year older than your son. It was probably, maybe two. <laughs> oh, man. Like, with something like that, that's, man, that's hard to say because I'm part of me wants to say, okay, you wouldn't lie about an injury like where you had to take someone to the ER or would you I don't know <laughs> Busy your minds, my mindset goes like we've talked about how did you accidentally injured a child yes. before we talked about ER stories why isn't the story ever come to light because that's a pretty intense thing to to drop your your nephew was it yeah oh I thought it was your niece no 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 it was my nephew <laughs> <laughs> all right interesting okay Steph. uh Steph telling the truth or is she lying tell us what you think 702-364-9400 my turn you ready uh, ready yeah Three, I'm ready. two one so last night I got paid one hundred dollars to eat a tomato 
I uh, was out to dinner with some coworkers, and the subject of tomatoes came up because someone got a caprese thing, and I was like, Whoa, tomatoes. And the one of the guys at the table was like, you won't, you're like, oh, how can you not like that? I'll pay you $100 to eat this tomato. And I was like, $100 to eat a tomato? I hate tomatoes, but it's $100. So I did it, and I won $100. Hmm. TV or radio coworkers? Radio. Too cheap to offer that bet. Well, in, 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 in my defense, it wasn't really the radio people. It was record people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, oh, it was, oh, so we were oh. with, it was me and, and some of our radio coworkers with record people. So it was the record person who did it. I okay. guess I should have clarified. That's a game changer because record yeah. labels got money and they'll do anything. They, they're willing to spend. Oh, interesting yeah okay i, I guess, guess my question would be um did, did you, you have, have like a side like after the tomato did you have something afterwards like water yes or something like that? okay water i like have my water like because i was like, choking i was like Ooh, it was disgusting and i'm like give me my money so yeah. and they paid you cash yeah a hundred dollar bill fresh let's see it crisp. let's see it well then i'll show it to you afterwards i mean that i mean if i Pull that out now. Well, it will be obvious. I mean, I'll show it to you, but I feel like that's kind you of You could shit. already have a $100 bill in there from other occasions. I literally never <laughs> carry cash that's on me. That's true. That, that might, might be, be the, the deal breaker if she sells that 100 Yeah, I mean, I will uh, after the fact, but yeah. If, if she's, she's telling the truth. truth. Yes, yeah. exactly. So. Wait, is this, is this pay, uh, roundabout payola? <laughs> that's, a record. that's why we're playing a new train song this morning. Yeah, see? Totally different label. Totally different label. No, 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 no. Uh, it, it was, it, no, it was for the tomato and only for the tomato. Hey, uh, I, I represent the new train song. I'll give you a thousand dollars if you eat that brownie. Okay. Don't joke about that because no, what? It was totally illegal. Yeah, yeah. It was totally illegal. Yeah. And that is not that what happened. Don't do it. Totally. Jason's no. like, do it. <laughs> All right, what do you think? This car ball's got a new car. Eat this, Jay. All right. <laughs> Ooh, no wonder I see you riding that. <laughs> this is good. Too uh, funny. Okay, so who is telling the truth and who is lying? 702-364-9400. Uh, Anthony says Mercedes is lying on this one. Tyler says Steph has a face that looks like she is lying. <laughs> Emma says, I've had a shirt that I've had since elementary school, and I'm 25, and it's still in great condition. I believe JC. Emma, Emma just, just you know my socks, socks are older than you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jeremiah says, I think Mercedes is lying. Uh, Jan also thinks I am the liar. Wow, you guys, what the heck? I am telling you. Um, another one here. This one is from Katya. Mercedes, you are making that up. <laughs> Lots of Mercedes liar uh, guesses here. So um, let's let's do the reveal. All right, truth teller number one. I've got some old socks. Oh, oh my gosh, and they're Daddy still sucks. alive. I'll take a picture. I'll, I'll, I'll post a picture of them tonight. Yeah, they're still. I mean, there's some holes in them, but not in the best condition. A little loose up top, but. Rocking them since 1992. Special occasion wear. Yeah, can you send that to me? We'll post it on our Instagram and Facebook. These are the 30 year old socks. I'll do it. I'll send it. I'll take a picture. Wow, Daisy. Okay, truth teller number two. It's me. I dropped my nephew. <laughs> I feel so bad about it. I will never forget that day. <sighs> he um supposedly he still remembers. I'm like uh, supposedly. Him. Yeah, he were. Yeah, he still remembers me dropping him. So I'm like, really? Because I feel so bad. But I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> that means what? To me, I was a liar. No. I, I, and and someone, someone on the, the request, request or on the text, text line said. Melody said. said Hmm. Mercedes, Mercedes specifically, specifically said, said once before, before there is no, no amount, amount of money, money to make me eat a tomato. Wow. And she was right. Wait, 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 was the offer true? They really no, offered, oh. that, that didn't even happen. I mean, the dinner, dinner happened, but yeah, yeah. There, there, there was, was no, no tomato, tomato offer. Uh, there, there was, was tomatoes, tomatoes on, on, the on the table, table and, and I did, did make, make a comment. comment that I was like, Ugh, yeah, yeah, tomatoes. tomatoes. Would, would you have done it last night if they said, if they had the $100 in their hand and said eat the, you would have really got 100 bucks? Wow. I can't stand raw tomatoes. I just, I can't. Now, if it was a matter, like someone offering to pay my, my, kids college tuition i would consider it. <laughs> but i was just like no i would never i, I would not do that record labels like okay <laughs> they're like okay <laughs> the, tomato, the tomato trick will work with her <laughs>